So what we are seeing in this video over here is a rhythm called supraventricular tachycardia or SVT for short. You can probably see how fast and regular it is. Usually it's about 140 to 250 beats per minute. And if you look really closely, you can actually notice that the P waves are hidden and actually inside the T waves. This creates a smooth TP merge is what we call on the ECG. Let's look into what's actually happening. Instead of the SA node controlling the rhythm, like it normally does, an ectopic pacemaker site in the atria starts firing rapidly or an electrical impulse gets caught in what we call a re-entry loop, which circles in the atria over and over and over again. So this constant rapid firing overwhelms the ventricles, which forces them to beat faster just to keep up. Clinically, patients usually feel palpitations, dizziness, chest pressure or shortness of breath because that rapid rate reduces ventricular filling time and ultimately cardiac output. So the faster the rate, the less time the heart has to actually fill up with oxygenated blood and perfuse the body. So perfusion drops and myocardial oxygen demand increases. Now, if the patient is stable, the first thing we can try is a vagal maneuver. So coughing, bearing down, and I've even had my patients blow into a straw just to activate that vagal response. This activates the vagus nerve and slows conduction through the AV node, hopefully. And if this fails, you can move to something called adenosine. This is a medication that's given as a rapid IV push and followed by a flush, and it'll temporarily block that AV conduction and reset the rhythm. And if this patient's completely unstable, so they're hypotensive, pale, or struggling to breathe, you can skip right to synchronized cardioversion. Once stabilized, rate control medications like beta blockers or calcium channel blockers can prevent reoccurrence. And then in chronic cases, catheter ablation can be a cure. SVT looks dramatic, but honestly at its core, it's just that the heart is stuck in an electrical loop that needs to be interrupted.